Hello, everyone in YouTube land. We are lovers back here as always. All right, something that just came out of the blue <laughs> and kind of went under my radar for some reason. I have no way fucking I have no fucking idea why. And I just watched a video about the topic, and I'll probably post. I don't even remember the channel. I just kind of came across it. I was watching other videos, and I was like, what? Um, yeah, the video that I watched was posted just a couple days ago. Like, I'm almost a week ago in August. So yeah, but this news was back in like April or May? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, wasn't I just not caring or paying attention? I thought I found gaming news, I don't know. I guess I was just focused on the Switch maybe? I don't know, other stuff going on. But anyways, this video is gonna be really short. But this is about Resident Evil 7 sales. It is a flop. Resident Evil 7 is a flop for Capcom. And I went through some other articles and I just Googled Resident Evil 7 flop. And some other articles came up and Set some, one, I'll post some links in the description if you want to look at them or whatever, but they said that it shipped, I don't know if it shipped or sold 3.5 million copies or whatever, who knows. I never know the difference. To me, shipped is not sold. It's you shipped the units to the store. But anyways, what does this mean <laughs> for the franchise? I was going to ask the question before I started this video, what does this mean for survival horror, but that doesn't mean anything. What does this mean for the franchise? What Also, what does this mean for the Resident Evil 2 remake? Alright? Um, I myself have not played Resident Evil 7 because I had no interest in it from what I watched. I just, it doesn't look like a Resident Evil game to me, even though a lot of people said it is in first person. It's Resident Evil remake in first person, pretty much. And item inventory and all that stuff. I just don't care. If it comes with a Switch, I'll get it for very cheap. 30, 40 bucks at the most, $30. But anyways, that's not really the point of this video. What does this mean for the franchise? Um, and why didn't it, why wasn't it a success for Capcom? Um, uh, I just, I think there's a lot of things that come into play in here. Um, where do I start? I think a lot of people said that Resident Evil 6 was catering to a lot of different audiences. Shooter, action, horror, you know, with Leon's campaign was horror, Chris's kind of run and gun. And I think Jake and Sherry's playthrough was like action or fighting or whatever. So it was a mess. We know, like, you know how, how we all feel about that game. But anyways, Resident Evil 7, I think, was catering to a lot of different audiences also. Resident Evil audience, obviously. It was also catering to, to the mainstream horror audience that likes your boo jump scare type games walk down a hallway boo like outlast pt whatever amnesia slender man all that chunk you know what i mean like just all this crap fucking indie horror garbage in my opinion all right it's just following that indie it's following that modern horror you know what i mean like ooh, what will his or her reaction be at this part of the game i gotta type that in like on twitch or youtube whatever like it's to it's that, alright? Also, I think, well, before I get to that, it's also catering to a lot of, it's throwing, in a, throwing a lot of different types of references, not references, what am I saying? Like, whatever, you, a lot of different things in the game, like torture porn type stuff from horror movies. Like other subgenres of horror movies, like found footage type movies, like Blair Witch. It's just trying to cater to too many modern stuff in there. And that's what I was talking about in my Resident Evil 2 video a couple days ago. That I was saying that it needs to be, it needs to go back to what made it great. Okay, yeah, you have horror in Resident Evil 7, but it needs to go back to that core, simple, subtle horror. What made Resident Evil so great. Just keep it simple. Right here, it's catering, like I said, to the modern horror gamer that likes to go boo, jump scare type stuff, and boo in the dark. <laughs> like, it's just like that simple of scares. Like, it's just like, yeah. But it's, you know, also catering to, to a bunch of other sub-genres of horror. Like I said, it's just like throwing in like Blair Witch, found footage type stuff, a little bit of torture porn type stuff in there. And it's just like, like Saw and Hostel and all that stuff. It's just like, what is this? This is this is not Resident Evil. This is not what fans wanted. And we know what we want. And I've seen a lot of comments saying, like, Ooh, fans just don't know what they want. They're never pleased. They're never happy. They're never satisfied. We do know what we want, all right? But also, 
I think the title is what fucked it all up, in my opinion, all right? You call it Resident Evil 7. Oh, and also, it's also catering to the VR market, too. So you're trying to make a game called VR. It was called Kitchen before Resident Evil 7 and all that stuff. Go look it up. But yeah, it's just trying to, like, a VR, Twitch, modern horror gamer, subgenre of horror, like, found footage, and torture porn and all that stuff. But also, <laughs> is the title, like I said, it, it should have been called Resident Evil Revelations 3. Like, that's it. It should have been called Resident Evil Revelations. It would have fit perfectly in that trilogy of Revelation games. You have the first one with Jill and the ship and all that and Chris. Then you have the second one with Claire and Girl and Barry. Then you have this one with whatever. <laughs> characters you don't really care about, probably. You know what I mean? Like, one-off characters. Um, but yeah, it's just, it should have been just called, it, it, you, it, it's a, it, it looks like Resident Evil Revelations 3, but it also looks like another reboot of the franchise, because it is a reboot. It's going into first person. But they could have just titled it Resident Evil, alright? Maybe they could have. Because the last time they did that was Resident Evil on the GameCube, alright? <laughs> um, if you did it this time, I don't think it would con confuse people. Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. I don't think it would confuse hardcore Resident Evil fans. People that are gamers and pay attention to gaming stuff. But yeah, I think you could have either called it Resident Evil, Reve Resident Evil Revelations 3, or just simply Resident Evil. Not Resident Evil VR or whatever. Just Resident Evil, and that's it. Fuck up the font a little bit. Who knows? They did it with Rev Resident Evil and GameCube, and they changed the font. It looks different than the one on PS1. But yeah, like, I just don't know. I just think, I honestly, I think it just should have, should have, should have been just called Resident Evil Revelations 3. And then Capcom went on to have this, like, oh, high hopes of it selling great. Maybe it did sell moderately, but it, whatever. To them, it's a failure to them, so it's a flop. Um, what, what do you guys think? Do you think it was the name? Do you think it was catering to too many groups, like Modern Horror Gamer, throwing a lot of subgenres of horror in there, like found footage stuff? Do you think Do you think it was the name? Do you think it was the title? Because to me, it looks like a fucking... Like a lot of people, I'm not the only one that's saying this. To everyone that's saying it, it looks like a fucking reboot. And you call, should have called it Re Revelations 3. It really could have. It could have been just a side game. Um, yeah, it's a shame. Who knows what Resident Evil, the Resident Evil 2 remake will be like. Will it be, like I said, it'll, I already made a video about it. Whatever, go watch it. Um, yeah, this, this is the future. Like, what will, what will Resident Evil 8 be like? It's just, it's all over the place at this moment. I mean, it really fucking is. So, anyways, peace out. More run videos coming soon. What do you think about this whole thing? Peace out. More run videos coming soon. Later.